dear students of 10th class assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah today we are going to deal with the remaining stanzas of the poem the tale of custard the dragon belinda paled and she cried help help but mustard fled with a terrified yelp ink trickled down to the bottom of the household and little mouse blinked strategically mouse hold but up jumped custard snorting like an engine lashed his tail like irons in a dungeon with a clatter and a clank and a jangling skirm he went at the pirate like a robin at a worm the poet in these lines tells us that belinda became pale out of the fear and cried for help mustard fled away with a frightened bark ink went down to the bottom of the household while blink got into its hole with a strategy to save protect itself from the pirate but custard jumped up breathing heavily like an engine he made a loud noise with his tail like iron produces in a dungeon Custard thrusted his tail with a clattering, clinking, and jingling sound, and pounced on the pirate like a robin in warm, or like a praying bird pouncing on its prey. the pirate gaped at belinda's dragon and gulped some grog from his pocket flagon he fired two bullets but they didn't hit and custard gobbled him every bit belinda embraced him mustard licked him no one mourned for the pirate victim ink and blink in glee did gyre it around the dragon that ate the pirate in these lines the poet says that the pirate stared at blinda's dragon with astonishment and drank some alcohol from a container which was kept in his pocket the pirate fired two bullets but they didn't hit the dragon who in turn swallowed him entirely belinda held custard tightly in her arms out of affection mustard moved his tongue across the body of custard no one felt sorry for the pirate in joy excitement and happiness ink and blink to took rounds around custard who then had swallowed the pirate but presently up spoke little dog mustard I would have been twice as brave if I hadn't been flustered and up spoke ink and up spoke blink we would have been three times as brave we think and custard said I quite agree that everybody is braver than me blinda sitel lives in her little white house with her little black kitten and her little gray mouse 
and her little yellow dog and her little red wagon and her really truly little pet dragon but soon the little dog mustard spoke proudly that he would have been twice as brave if he hadn't got nervous then ink and blink both said that they would have been three times as brave the custard being subservient agreed to what they said custard wasn't proud and said everyone except him was braver and courageous the poet then says that belinda sitel lives in her little white house with her little black kitten and her little gray mouse and her little yellow dog and her little red wagon and her really truly little tame dragon Belinda is as brave as a barrel full of beers and ink and blink chase lines down the stairs mustard is as brave as a tiger in a rage but custard keeps crying for a nice safe cage the last stanza of the poem is used as a refrain it shows the continuity of the blindas and other animals living together blinda is a brave is as brave as a barrel full of beers ink and blink chase down the stairs mustard is as brave as tiger in rage but custard keeps keeps crying for a nice safe god thanks